Frontier is the most amazing map I have ever seen that is available on console. So in this episode we are going to build this extraordinary desert farm. The map itself has a really vibrant city and those skyscrapers guys are breathtaking. There's also arable land and a forest. The map is so well made and very detailed. And on the other side of the map, we got a desert with oil fields that contains a lot of oil pump jacks for the oil refinery. We are going to turn this desert into a farm oasis. <laughs> so buckle up and enjoy the farm build. First things first, this is the layout of the Frontier map and as you can see in the desert there is one oasis. And I think that could be the best spot to build our farm. So let's take a look in that area and ah yes, it's perfect guys. It is definitely something different to build a farm in the desert and in between those oil pump jacks and those skyscrapers in the background, I love it. This is the spot where we're going to start. We are back on the map and here is where we are going to buy the land. I just buy all the land around the pond so that we have no restrictions at all when we build the farm. And there we go, it is all ours now. Now before we start building, it is best to level the ground over here because it's really uneven as you can see. So let's do that first. I chose to level the ground to the same level as the area around the pond because that pond will be very important for us. We are done leveling the ground and oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> but let's find our farmhouse. Oh, I like this one and you can change the colors. I think this farmhouse looks really great in this desert. And which color shall we choose? Oh, I like this one. With this color, the house blends really well in. So let's place it right here. I think this is the perfect spot near the pond. And now it is time to work on our driveway. I want a farm gate for this farm. I think it's very convenient and yes, it's perfect. So now it is time to make a pathway to the house and I chose for gravel. And you know what? I will make an area in front of the house where we are going to make a little garden. This area can definitely use some greens. And on the left side of the house we are going to put some parking spots because our visitors need to park too, right? <laughs> Now let's put some fences up next to the driveway. And of course we will adjust the gravel path. <laughs> All right, this looks perfect. Now, before we go further building the farm, let's touch up the area around the house with some decorations. I still want to keep the desert feeling, so some rocks are a nice touch. And like I said earlier, I do want some plants and flowers over here. I have to say, these pot plants really look like they can survive in these circumstances. I actually know for a fact that bonsai trees don't need a lot of water. They actually don't like wet feet. <laughs> it is already coming together real nicely. I'll add some more rocks and an art statue because why not? <laughs> and let's place also some trees next to the house. They will protect the house a little bit from the sun. All right, I think this is good for now. And guys, oh my goodness, we can place some palm trees over here. So of course our driveway need them, okay? <laughs> and yes, this is awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you think of our palm trees. <laughs> Now let's make the pathway to our farm because we are going to build it behind the house. 
So I have been thinking what animals we are able to have in the desert. And I do think pigs might survive this. <laughs> they are used to muddy environments and I think this is pretty easy to create. And this modern pigs barn will make that all possible. And let's also place a chicken coop. We can actually earn a lot of money with those eggs. But we do have to make sure they don't boil in the sun. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to place the chicken coop in free mode, so it lowered the ground. So let's level the ground between the house and the chicken coop, because this looks terrible, guys. <laughs> and you know what? Let's level the ground on the rest of the farm too. And I do want to divide the house from the farm. So I am going to place a fence on this side so that you can only enter the farm through the right side of the house. Horses are very welcome on the farm and they might come in really handy because horses are managing sandy soils really well. And you can earn a lot of money with horses, but you have to train them. So let's place a riding hall. It is time to place some sheds. This is a barn with a workshop. Here we can fix our equipment. And let's place a shed over here where we can store the hay bales for the horses and maybe also some equipment. I am going to adjust the fence over here so that we can enter the barn from this side too if needed. And of course we need a shed for our equipment. For the crop storage, I will choose these brick silos. These will be more resistant to sand drifts. And if we can't make hay bales due to circumstances in the desert, we can use this hay loft to store the hay inside so that it is protected. Now for the pigs, we also need root crop storage. We can place one for the potatoes and one for the sugar beets. And it is time to grow some open air gardens where we can actually grow a lot of crops here. For example, the pigs need soybeans, corn, sugar beets and potatoes. I rather grow those in these gardens because I do think it will be a challenge to grow crops in the ground over here. And let's also place a foil tunnel where we can grow lettuce, tomatoes and strawberries. Now, I want to place more open gardens, so first I have to level the ground over here and when that's done we are going to place more gardens. And you know what? We have those beautiful bonsai trees in our front yard. We could grow a bonsai business, so let's grow some plants over here too. Alright, this is awesome! Now, even though the soil might be bad to grow crops on, we still have to try it, because the horses eat also oats and sorghum, and the chickens and pigs eat wheat, barley and sorghum. So I am going to make two fields where we can grow sorghum and wheat. There might be some moisture present in the ground, because our farm is next to an oasis, but I am also going to place a water tank, so that we have water for the animals, the gardens and the fields. And because the pigs need a mixture of a lot of different kind of foods, it will be best to place a pig food production. So let's place it here. And we can use the liquid manure from the pigs to fertilize the two fields. So let's place an extra tank behind the pig barn. And you know what? Let's also place a shed over here to store more vehicles and then we're done. Well, with placing all the buildings, because as you can see, it still looked really empty and random. So it is time to paint in all the paths and I will continue using the gravel.
the pathways are done. And I always like to make a backyard behind the house, so let's first paint the ground and then play some decorations. Now I finally have a reason to place a sand castle. <laughs> And to make the farm look more natural, we are going to place meadows, trees and bushes. Oh, by the way, if you like me to make another farm build video on this map, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like the farm build so far, don't forget to give this video a like and thank you for your support. Are you guys ready to see the results? Let me know what you think of our very first desert farm. <laughs> Enjoy! Wow, we started with a desert and we ended up with this beautiful farm. Is this farm just as amazing as the sky-high American pig farm I built? Click it right here and let me know. 